In an era where global power is as much about technological supremacy as it is about military might, the semiconductor industry has become the latest battleground. The unfolding drama is not just about chips. It's a saga of economic dominance, national security, and the shifting sands of global geopolitics. At the center of this high-stakes game are two superpowers, the U.S. long the unchallenged titan of tech, and China, an emerging technological behemoth, hungry for the top spot, the U.S., in a move that reeks of a tech cold war, is tightening its grip on semiconductor exports to China, seemingly threatened by the latter's startlingly rapid progress in the field. But here's the catch. China's semiconductor prowess is growing at a pace that's making U.S. sanctions look increasingly like a desperate clutch at straws. Caught in the crossfire are giants like Samsung and SK Hynix, forced to navigate a labyrinth of economic interest and national allegiances. The U.S. actions, while ostensibly aimed at curbing China's tech ascent, raise questions about global innovation, market dynamics, and even the ethics of technological dominance. Are we witnessing the emergence of a new form of imperialism, one that's not about territory, but about technological control? Is the U.S. justified in its actions, or is this the dawn of an era of tech protectionism that will stifle global innovation? And what about China? Is it the victim or a stealthy giant playing the long game to rewrite the rules of global tech dominance? This is a story of ambition, fear, and the clash of titans. It's a narrative that might well redefine the world order as we know it, so buckle up and stay with us till the end as we navigate through this labyrinth of power, technology, and intrigue in the high-stakes world of semiconductors. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The tightening of export regulations on semiconductors to China by the U.S. is a move that reflects the ongoing geopolitical tensions and strategic competition in the high-tech sector. Despite these measures, China's semiconductor processing technology is rapidly advancing, challenging the effectiveness of U.S. sanctions in a notable development, China has increased its self-sufficiency in the semiconductor domain. Now equipping its latest smartphones and laptops with domestically produced advanced process semiconductors. This advancement is significant given China's crucial role in the global semiconductor market, and it underscores the need for a re-evaluation of strategies in the face of the intensifying U.S.-China rivalry. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. On the 4th, according to industry sources, Huawei, a leading Chinese technology company, has made a significant stride in its semiconductor capabilities. Huawei equipped its business laptop, the Qingyan Lo 540T, launched in December with a high-spec 5 nanometer semiconductor, the Kirin 9006C processor. This processor marks a milestone as it is the first semiconductor in a laptop released by Huawei and was developed in 2021. Previously, Huawei relied on Taiwan's TMC for its 5 nanoprocess technology. However, following U.S. regulations, Huawei's access to TSMC's technology was cut off. The Kirin 9006C processor installed in the Qingyan L540 was reportedly produced by Smite, China's largest foundry company. SMIC's technological advancements are further evident in the production of the 7-nano chip Kyren 9000, which was installed in the 5G smartphone Mate 60 Pro, launched by Huawei in August. The number 7 nano refers to the circuit line width specification of the semiconductor chip, with lower numbers indicating more advanced microprocessing technology. Despite stringent U.S. sanctions, SMIC has significantly improved its technology within a few months, a testament to the rapid advancement of China's semiconductor industry. Reports from Politico have highlighted the market buzz around Huawei's new laptop model, featuring a chip that's a generation ahead, raising questions about the efficacy of the current U.S. regulatory strategy against China. This development is not isolated to Huawei alone. In November, Baidu, China's largest search company, bulk ordered Huawei's AI Semiconductor 910B Ascend, developed as a substitute for NVIDIA's 100 Baidu's partnership with Huawei. Despite its previous reliance on NVIDIA, signifies a growing trust in domestic technology. Additionally, Chinese AI software company 
if LitTech is reportedly using this chip for training AI models, further indicating the rising capabilities of Chinese semiconductor technology. The advancements in China's semiconductor industry have significant implications for U.S. policy and for other countries with vested interests in the semiconductor market. It's increasingly likely that the U.S. will impose stricter rules in the future. Such regulations could potentially impact other countries' companies, particularly those with significant production capacities in China. For instance, Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix, two major South Korean semiconductor manufacturers, have substantial production facilities in China. Samsung Electronics produces 40 of its NAND flash production at its GN factory in China, while SK Hynix accounts for 40 of the total DRAM and 20 of the NAND flash at its Wuxi and Dalian factories. If the U.S. decides to strengthen sanctions against China, these South Korean companies could face direct consequences on their semiconductor production. In light of these developments, experts are advocating for a strategic reorientation in the semiconductor market. The goal is to reduce dependence on both the U.S. and China, as major countries increasingly seek to localize semiconductor technology. South Korea, in particular, finds itself more reliant on foreign countries, highlighting the need for a shift in strategy. Lee Kubuk, vice president of the Korea Electronics Technology Institute, has emphasized the importance of rebalancing the semiconductor production network of South Korean companies, which currently leans heavily towards China. He advocates for the commercialization of advanced processes domestically, followed by exports to countries like Europe and Japan. He also stresses the need for the government to implement stronger sanctions to prevent the outflow of domestic technology and personnel overseas. In addition to these measures, Vice President Lee underscores the importance of systematic talent development in the semiconductor sector. He suggests that the government should focus on training personnel domestically in practical operations, execution, design and advanced processes, among other specific areas. This approach is crucial for maintaining and enhancing the competitiveness of the South Korean semiconductor industry in a rapidly evolving global landscape. The situation surrounding the semiconductor industry, particularly the developments in China and the responses from the U.S. and other countries, illustrates the complex interplay of technology, economics, and geopolitics. As China continues to advance its semiconductor technology, it challenges the existing global power dynamics in this critical sector. This situation calls for a nuanced understanding of the strategic considerations at play and a thoughtful approach to navigating the challenges and opportunities that arise from these developments. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. As China accelerates its development in the semiconductor sector, the U.S. faces challenges in maintaining its technological supremacy. The U.S. has long been a leader in semiconductor technology, with American companies dominating the market in terms of innovation, manufacturing, and supply chain control. However, the rise of Chinese competitors, backed by substantial government support and increasing technical sophistication, poses a potential threat to this dominance. The U.S. response to China's advancements has primarily been in the form of increased export controls and sanctions. The goal of these measures is to limit China's access to advanced semiconductor technologies and slow down its progress. This strategy, while potentially effective in the short term, raises several issues. Firstly, it could lead to a technological decoupling between the U.S. and China, creating separate spheres of technological influence and potentially slowing global innovation. Secondly, these restrictions can have unintended consequences for U.S. companies, many of which are heavily reliant on the Chinese market for revenue. The situation also presents challenges and opportunities for other countries and companies in the semiconductor industry. South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and European countries, all key players in the semiconductor supply chain, find themselves navigating a complex environment. They must balance economic and technological partnerships with both China and the U.S. while also protecting their own strategic interests. For South Korean companies like Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix, this geopolitical tension presents a particular dilemma. These companies are deeply integrated into both the U.S. and Chinese markets, making them vulnerable to shifts in policy from either side. As the U.S. tightens its restrictions on China, these companies could face difficult choices regarding their supply chains, investments, and customer relationships.
In addition to the geopolitical and economic considerations, there are also technological aspects to consider. The semiconductor industry is characterized by rapid innovation and high barriers to entry, including substantial capital costs and complex intellectual property issues, China's ability to advance in this sector. Despite these challenges and the pressure from U.S. sanctions, is a testament to its growing capabilities in research and development as well as its strategic planning. One key aspect of China's semiconductor strategy has been its focus on developing domestic alternatives to foreign technology. The development of the Kirin 9060 processor by Smeek, for instance, shows China's capability to produce advanced semiconductors domestically. This shift towards self-reliance is likely to continue, especially as U.S. restrictions make it difficult for Chinese companies to access foreign technologies. However, achieving complete self-sufficiency in semiconductors is a complex and long-term challenge. The semiconductor industry is highly globalized, with intricate supply chains spanning multiple countries. Key materials, equipment, and intellectual property are often sourced internationally. For instance, advanced semiconductor manufacturing relies heavily on equipment from companies like the Netherlands ASM, which holds a near monopoly on extreme ultraviolet lithography, machines essential for producing the most advanced chips. This interdependence means that any significant shift towards self-sufficiency or decoupling would require substantial time and investment. It also highlights the potential for disruption in the global supply chain, as tensions between the U.S. and China could lead to fragmented markets and increased costs. The global nature of the semiconductor industry also means that actions taken by one country can have far-reaching effects. U.S. sanctions on China not only impact Chinese companies, but also affect U.S. suppliers and their global customers. This interconnectedness has led to calls for a more collaborative approach to global technology governance. Rather than unilateral actions, some experts suggest that a coordinated international response, perhaps through multilateral institutions or agreements, could be more effective in addressing concerns related to technology transfer, intellectual property rights, and market access. The semiconductor industry's strategic importance is also evident in national security considerations. Semiconductors are critical components in a wide range of military systems, including satellites, aircraft, and advanced weapons. This dual-use nature of the technology adds a layer of complexity to the geopolitical dynamics. The U.S. concerns about China's technological advancements are not only economic but also relate to national security. Similarly, China's pursuit of semiconductor self-sufficiency is driven partly by its desire to secure its own defense capabilities. In addition to these broader strategic considerations, there are implications for the global economy and technological innovation. The semiconductor industry is a key driver of economic growth and technological advancement. Disruptions in this sector, whether due to geopolitical tensions, trade restrictions, or other factors, can have significant impacts on a wide range of industries and technologies. For example, the global shortage of semiconductors experienced in recent years has affected industries from automotive to consumer electronics, highlighting the critical role these components play in the modern economy. Looking ahead, the semiconductor industry is likely to remain at the center of global technological and economic developments. The ongoing competition between the U.S. and China, the strategic decisions of other key players, and the technological advancements in the sector will shape the future of this critical industry. Companies and countries will need to navigate these complexities while balancing economic interests, national security concerns, and technological aspirations. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.